Hi guys, it's Elena and I'm enchanted for you to be back here on my channel. Today we're going to be doing another review and unboxing and this time it's going to be another seasonal subscription box. This subscription is called Cosbox and it's very similar to FabFitFun. Oh, wow, <laughs> still a tongue twister for me. It's very similar to FabFitFun, although I don't think they advertise as much. At least I don't see them advertised as often as I see FabFitFun advertised. Wow. Anyway, so this is a seasonal subscription and it comes pretty much, well, every season, duh. What's a little bit different about the subscription box is that it's all mainly women-led companies and it's all like ethically sourced and things for a good cause, mainly. I haven't really read up on their like mission statement or anything but that's kind of like the essence that I'm getting from them and I've been receiving them for I think a year now I've always been happy and excited towards my box so enough of my babble and chit chat let's get into the fun part and here she is this is the cause box and I am so excited I have not opened her up yet but look at the artwork. Look at how pretty this box is. Look at all the pretty little detailed flowers and everything. I don't know if you'll be able to. Let me see if I can get my camera. There we go. Look how pretty that is. Makes me almost want to save it. I, I'm a hoarder of boxes. I, I definitely am. All right. Anyways, I have not opened her up yet. I have my handy dandy sharp utensil. Now I gotta find the end to it. And, oh boy, something fell in there. I hope it didn't break. So they are all full size products, whether it be makeup, whether it be um, skincare or other types of things. Sometimes they get blankets, purses, um, jewelry, all sorts of goodies. I kind of cheated on this one just a tiny bit. There's <laughs> there's um, a certain time where you're able to kind of customize and like pick out which color you want of which item and there was this duffel bag that was in it and there was a choice between the pink and the green or not a green it was like an olive green and like this gray and white striped one and I picked the gray and white striped one because I really wanted it so I kind of cheated a little bit so it's not much of a surprise but the rest of this stuff is a surprise definitely a surprise so um without further ado let's open her up Woo! right on the top we have their little magazine that kind of goes over what they are and kind of goes over what you have in the descriptions and prices and kind of where it came from. Kind of, kind of, kind of, but all sorts of things like that. And I'll go through it and read through it afterwards. So, here's the first thing that I opened. Another one is Oh, it's like a clothing subscription thingy. Anyways. Oh, look how cute. Oh, I wish I could grab my camera. Because there's this little little sticker thing. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. There's this little sticker holding this in place. And I don't want to rip it. It's so cute. Let me try my best. Or maybe, maybe if I just like rip the tissue paper around it. Because I kind of want to save it. All right, another one of my obsessions and little quirks are stickers. I love stickers. Gently, slowly. The, the stress. All right, then I could cut it out and like stick it in my journal. Because it is so cute. Here is that. Let me show you the sticker. Come on, camera, don't fail me now. She has one of the, like, the little duffel bags. There we go. I love it. All right, I'm gonna be weird and save this. <laughs> and 
let's see what the party in the box is. So, this is the duffel bag that I picked out that I was telling you about. And it's kind of like a carry-on case for the gym or for an airplane or for trying to find a way to open it. So it's pretty much just a duffel bag. And it feels like through the paper really sturdy, like a really thick material. So satisfying just like throwing things on the floor. Really thick and really sturdy material. Oops. <laughs> Give me a second. Here's the strap for it. And wow, this is bigger than I thought it would be. This is this is awesome. The inside is lined with like a cottony material. It has, I don't know if you're able to see it, it has a little zip pocket. I was about to say, is it a false pocket? Because I would have been so mad. But no, it is a real pocket. It comes all the way down here. It's a small pocket on the inside. This is how it looks on the inside. This thing is big. So if you do use it as a gym bag, that's, that's kind of what my intention is. You're able to fit everything in there. It has little clips for here, little strap. The thing, what I like about this and why I'm going to be using it for my gym bag is that it's soft and pliable so I could literally just like shove it into my locker. <laughs> so here is the first item, this giant wonderful duffel bag. I'll put that here and I'm going to push this off to the side. There's a lot more things that will be taken out. Okay, let's see what's next. I'm going to guess what this is. This is a set of brushes because it looks like those like rolly thingies, like those roller cases for brushes. And that is exactly what it is. Toss that aside so I'll stop making noise. So, I don't do a lot of makeup. So I'm not going to be using a lot of La Beauty Soy. But they are gorgeous. <gasps> I love like the rose gold finish. This is, this is like right up my alley with the rose gold. It's so pretty. And the brushes are so soft. Oh, they're nice. And it's like metallic-y. So you can hear me playing with it with my nails. But I wish I kind of did my makeup more often might have them just to like, I don't even know what half of these do. Um, this is the, let me quiz myself. Powder brush, right? Is this like a, is this a cheek, like a blush brush? This is kind of sturdy. Is it like a eye makeup blendy brush? And these are all eye makeup brushes. And this is a highlighter brush. Comment down below if I'm right. Because <laughs> I'm not sure at all. Okay. Um, oh, these are gorgeous. But I think they're going to make a really good gift for someone. Who's going to have much more use and love out of them. So, yeah. That's that. Put that aside. It is beautiful. I wish I wish I I wish I did more makeup. Ah, uh, let's see what some kind of treatment oil. It says through the here recovery treatment oil. It is packaged really really well. Come on, cooperate. I didn't break anything. Okay, let's see. Come on, box. Open. I don't want to break.
break it. Oh no. Aha. Struggle was real. Okay. Okay. Let's open her up. And it smells okay. Our fast absorbent. Let me try this again. Our fast absorbing treatment is formulated with a blend of nine antioxidant rich oils that nourish and hydrate to help address the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So this is a face moisturizer, I guess. Is that like directions? Um, apply seven, five to seven drops on clean skin. Okay, so it's like a skin, skin hydrating serum thingy. Let's see how it smells. It smells very like herby. Kind of like, oh, it smells very natural, light, and herby, but like a fresh type of herby, not like a really strong and intense type of herby. And it does not leave really greasy residue behind. Hmm, I kind of like this. Oh, but like mixing with my skin, it has more of like a mintier type of hint to it. And even like a slightly earthier tone. I don't know if that makes any sense. Malin plus Goetz. Recovery treatment oil. 4.25% essential oils. What's the rest of this stuff? Less than 5% is... If less than 5% is essential oil, what's the rest of it? Oh, a bunch of other oils. Okay. I don't know. Just just my curiosities. I'm, very, I'm, I'm the type of person that would Google and research all the ingredients. So, um... <laughs> uh, let's see what other goodies we have in here. Oh, this is heavy. This is really heavy. I gotta say, I love my new box opener. You guys have noticed that I'm not using my knives anymore. And it's because my number one fan got it to me as a present. My husband. He's my number one fan by default. <laughs> he doesn't have a choice. Alright, let's see. What is in this super, super lalure? Oh, it has a very pretty box. It has like this embellishment on it. Cactus flower coconut musk. Eight ounce coconut wax blend. White cactus. It smells so good, like through the box. Oh, ooh, excited. Come on. Oh, it's a candle. Oh, ooh, I'm really, 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 really excited now. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it smells so good. Oh, look how pretty it is. And it has like such a metallic-y, like hefty jar to it. Come on, camera. Focus, please. Ugh. The struggle is real. Once it like gets to my face, doesn't want to focus in on anything else. So um, I think that's the best I can do. It's really pretty. It's coconut wax blend small batch made and it says like established 2016 so this company's like two years old and then it says we hope every time you burn your la la lure la lure la something fancy candle it lights up your home and fills it with a delicious deliciously fragrant glimmer that's so sweet that's so cute. I love it. 
It smells like it's gonna be one of my favorite candles now. Oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, so I have that. Let's see what's next. <gasps> Ooh. Jewelry. Jewelry makes me excited. Come on out. Come out. I don't want to break it. There we go. Looks like a necklace. Yes, it's a necklace. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, so got this absolute. Oh boy, the glare is terrible. Kind of like this against my shirt. Somewhat. There we go. This necklace is gorgeous, so it doesn't have a clasp, it just has kind of detaches in this way. And, oh, it's so easy to put on. And it's kind of adjustable of how you want it to hang. So this is pretty. It does not go with the shirt that I'm wearing now. But this is so pretty. That, that makes me really excited. So I kind of have stuff here. Kind of have stuff here. Let me see where I can plop this over. Okay. Does it say anything else on the paper? Nope. And it says hashtag fashion feeding hunger. Hmm. I'll have to read about that in the little journal they sent. I'm gonna put this back in here. Got glass ladder and company. What is this? I'm having a difficult time opening any of this stuff. Ooh, it feels really nice. Oh, it says it right on it. It says travel wallet. What's a travel wallet? Isn't technically every wallet you have? A travel wallet because it travels with you I'm confused oh it's like why isn't it opening it's on a clip oh this is cute it has like this like big opening it's fairly like a large size wallet it has a couple pockets on this side it's a couple pockets on this side and it has a pocket in here, and pockets over here. I like the outside of it. It feels really nice. It feels, I don't know, I would say it feels like a European style size wallet because their bills are usually shorter and a bit wider. But I'm gonna have to read on this. What? What is a travel wallet? I think a travel <laughs> wallet is any wallet because, you know, it travels with you. Alright. I'm going to stop my babble. And, ooh, it has the little postcards that come with the little, like, graphics. It's so cute. I like it. So, instead of sending out these postcards, like it's kind of intended to do, kind of hold on to them and keep them as a collection. I think we have one last thing. Nope. It's just an empty box of sadness. Okay. That's it. So this is for Cosbox Fall 2019. I'm going to try to move things aside so I can read about all the goodies in here. Okay, it says, what's in the box? Page seven. Um, all right. So let's start off in order, I suppose. The Malin Plus Goetz Recovery Treatment Oil. A multitasking treatment oil that provides hydration and helps skin feel softer, smoother, and brighter. Naturally composed of nine antioxidant-rich oils. It is an $82 value. Wow. 
Okay. So these boxes are about $40 a season. And this is like double the price value of the box. That's awesome. Um, the 10 piece makeup brush collection, 10 piece set of makeup brushes for every imaginable use and look. Every brush is made with vegan, cruelty free bristles and packaged in a thoughtfully designed vegan leather clutch. $24 value. Oh, that's cute. You know, I, I find it kind of interesting how they call it vegan leather where unless it's specified that it's made out of you know natural materials it's usually just plastic so vegan leather is usually plastic made to look like leather and it says vegan cruelty free bristles which is probably plastic and man-made fibers but um it's gorgeous and it is a 24 dollar value so the Weekender Duffel, that's the big duffel bag. It is an oversized duffel for everything from weekend away to trips to the gym. Handmade by artisans in Jaipur, India. Oh, it's handmade. That's amazing. Oh, that's even more special now. It is a $108 value. Wow. Okay, so the Nashelle Heather Drop Larry Larite, Larite, a custom for cause box take on the classic Y silhouette. This gorgeous Larite can be dressed up or down for every product sold. Not, oh, dressed up or down for every product sold. Nashelle donates ten meals to those in need. Oh, that's amazing! It's a thirty-eight dollar value. That's so. That's wonderful. Okay, um, La Lure Candles, White Cactus Coconut, White Cactus Coconut Wax Candle. That's a mouthful. A first take on autumn, this candle was developed from sustainably sourced ingredients, including proprietary coconut wax blend. Every La Lure candle is hand poured in the USA and packaged in a gorgeous reusable glass vessel. Yes, the little glass jar that it's in is absolutely beautiful and has like a goldish like finish on the inside, which I can definitely put some good use once the candle is done. And that is a $35 value. Um, and you'll, uh, then the Terrazzo Travel Wallet. So let's find out what makes this specifically a travel wallet. An exclusive collaboration with Australian artist Christine Lubinsky, this terrazzo-inspired travel wallet is the perfect gathering place for all your traveling essentials. It is a $108 value. Wow. Okay, um, but why is this specifically a travel wallet? <laughs> page on them and it says the Terrazzo travel wallet was designed to be the perfect travel companion but not many of us are traveling all the time and some of us barely travel at all not to worry it was also designed to fit most every smartphone and it's designed to fit most every smartphone in its central side pocket as well as your driver's license and credit card there's a place to keep cash and two other pockets for receipts, notes, extra cards, headphones, chapstick, or other small flat essentials, whether you're flying across the world or driving across town. The Terrazzo Travel Wallet was designed to accessorize for every living in a beautiful and useful way. How are you supposed to fit um, headphones? Or chapstick or your phone phone in here there's no way um, I have my phone right here it has no case on it because I'm, I'm using it for the filming and just put it on the stand anyways it doesn't have a case on it 
And if I put it in here, it's gonna completely ruin it. I'm not even gonna try. Okay, turn off. Look, biggest pocket. It's not going in. This is my phone with no case. I mean, it's beautiful. It, it can do this, but it'll come right out. And again, my phone has no case on it for the being. So how are you supposed to... I'm not trying to be like... <laughs> I don't know antsy about this, but they're promising so many things with this travel wallet and there's You could probably keep cash and not Maybe US sized cash, but it definitely seems more European style. You can definitely keep You know some Receipts in here your credit cards can go. Hi Lila. Thank you for your butt in my face but down below if you can help me understand what this is please I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on it hello hello but I don't I don't even think this is gonna fit like normal US size currency let me give it a go let's be right back So it will fit the US size currency. It's the regular $10 US bill. But this is made to hold so like thinly. I don't think it's gonna be able to hold much. And it says headphones, chapstick, or other small flat essential. I understand the small flat essentials, you know, things like this, but Let's say this is about the size of like a tiny chapstick. If you were to put that in here, then I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's cute. But, um, <laughs> here's my honest review of the Causebox subscription for this season. Um, definitely comment down below if you can help me figure out what this travel wallet is for or if you think that any wallet is technically a travel wallet and um, let me know what you think let me know if there's other subscription boxes that you want me to try and have an honest review for <laughs> as you see my skepticism towards this thing um, anyways that's it I'm glad you guys joined me I'll see you guys later bye